Now, as you can tell, this video is about connecting any hard drive to the new iPad Pro 2018 model with the USB-C port. Now, what I'm going to show you first is something that I've been playing around with. I've been playing around with GH5 and GH5S and some other cameras that have USB-C port on them. Now, the great thing with the GH5 system is it's USB-C. So this is actually a Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C cable. And then you actually go to the photo app you plug it in, you turn the camera on, and on the back of the camera, a menu will come up. And it will say PC storage. You tap on that. And then what will happen? All of your videos that are actually stored on the GH5 and GH5S are accessible on the iPad. And you can just tap on them, the ones you want, like so. Then you can import them, and then they're stored on there. And then you can actually edit the 4K 60p footage with LumaFusion, which is a really good um, movie editing software on the iPad. It works really well on the new iPad Pro. It's, it's seamless. And you can actually edit 60p 4K video on there. Now, iMovie can't even do that. Now, so that's just that that I went through. And it's the same with this, the GoPro Hero 7. And it's a seven, isn't it? Yeah, seven, I get so confused, there's so many of them. Now this again, you can plug in a USB-C cable straight into the side of the GoPro, plug it into the iPad, and you get access to all your video on there. It works with most cameras that I've tried, to be true for all the Panasonic ones, um, the D850, via a special, um, I think it's called a, a micro USB? Could be a micro USB, but it goes from that to USB-C, plug straight in there, and you can access all the photos on there and the video footage. Now, what this video is about, which we're gonna go this way now, we're gonna go down to this. So what you're seeing is a camera up there, so what this is about is connecting a USB-C SSD or a USB normal hard drive, I guess, last hard drive, rugged drive, or any hard drive basically to the iPad Pro. Now, what I don't understand is everybody seems to want to connect the SSD like this, like that. I don't understand that because the whole point of an iPad is it's in your hands. And the last thing I want is that dangling around while I'm walking around with the iPad or sitting down editing. I, I don't understand it personally. So the way I do it, which I've been doing for quite a while now, is I use this. Now this is a Nurbox. Now most of you might know what a Nurbox is, but if you don't, this is a rugged outdoor drive with 120 gig SSD built in, or you can get one with a 240 gig SSD. Now, this particular model is 120, and what it has, it has two card slots, micro SD and normal SD, and also has two ports. It has a USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0. What that actually means is you can plug in an SSD like this, like that, and you can plug it straight into the Nurbox, turn the Nurbox on. So it takes a while to boot up, and what it does, it links to, I'll take my, pencil off so I'm not going to get fingerprints all over this okay so it's actually booting up um, the light goes from blue to yellow then it goes to green and it's all booted up so you go to your Wi-Fi and there's the Nurbox so you connect to the Nurbox wirelessly okay so it's a really fast and really stable wireless connection for data transfer okay so we come out of that we go back to the Nurbox app which is there now the only problem with the Nurbox app only in portrait mode so what you can do is you've got what's stored on the box. So stored on the SSD is actually some drone footage that Locke shot when he was here last time. Actually, no, the time before last, actually. So that's some footage I haven't taken off of there. Um, and then you go to devices, and then you see it comes up with a SanDisk Extreme SSD. Now you can actually go into that, and it will show you videos, photos, and actually documents. So you can actually then also add another hard drive if you want because it has two USB ports. So let's plug in this one. So this is normal USB 3.0 to USB-C. And we're gonna, so it's a bit of a mess, but it's working. What I can do is I can go back to my devices, which is here. It now shows me I have two hard drives connected. I can transfer from the Nurbox with the two hard drives connected. From any of the hard drives I can transfer to the iPad or from the iPad to the Nurbox. Now, another good program which is this. This is LumaFusion. I'm not going to go through the whole process of editing on here, but what you can do, it will actually find your Nurbox. 
and you can actually go into that and you can actually find the items and the folders and you can actually edit 4K footage wirelessly from the Nerdbox on the iPad Pro without actually connecting any hard drives, which I think is the best way to do it. And then you can edit it with LumaFusion on the go, 4K wirelessly. I don't understand why you'd want to plug in a hard drive and edit from it when you can edit 4K footage wirelessly via the iPad and the Nerdbox. Now, in December, there is a new Nerdbox 2.0, I think they've called it, which has USB-C and has a faster system which is much better. So that will be out in December, which I will get and I will test that as well. But this was just a quick video to say, yes, you can connect any hard drive to the iPad Pro wirelessly via the Nerdbox. It's a system that is built specifically to do this. I've actually been in the back of a bus doing this. I've been on the train, the, the high-speed rail in Taiwan. I spent an hour on that with this in my bag, all the hard drives and editing footage on the iPad. And it works flawless. It is such a good setup. So that was my idea for connecting any hard drive to the new iPad Pro 2018.